How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be sharing the Black Panther series number 30 from Amazing Yamaguchi, powered by Revoltech. This is one of my more anticipated figures this year, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Black Panther. Wakanda forever! Something new to me on these boxes is the comic captions in English. I will stop you. The Black Panther has bested many adversaries in the past, but even he cannot withstand the full fury of his mightiest opponent yet. Mother Nature. Mother what? I'm not familiar with that storyline. If you are familiar with it, please let me know. But Black Panther versus Mother Nature, there you have it. We've got some more actual photos of the figure doing some really dynamic poses. Quick look at the other side. All right, let's get him out. Quick look at the Black Panther inside of the blister. It also comes with this dial piece inside of the package. Absolutely dope. All right, let's get him out. All right, Black Panther out of the box and immediate impressions. This might be the most beautifully sculpted, amazing Yamaguchi figure that I have in my collection. I think this thing is absolutely stunning in hand. It looks like it's supposed to be black, but there's like a definite purple all throughout. And it looks so nice, right? Like as even as I look through the camera, it looks mostly black, but there's like a purple shine. Really beautiful stuff. Really, really beautiful stuff. Close-up look there. On the claws, look at that sharp, crisp silver. Man, this is a beautiful fig. It also doesn't feel extremely heavy, but as you can see, as I wiggle it around, nothing is wobbling or moving. So beautiful, beautiful stuff. We do see exposed elbow wall joints there. And you might see a little bit of it there at the top where the shoulders are. But overall, the joints are extremely well concealed. And these figures are known for making that compromise between exposed and numerous joints in exchange for what might be the best articulation in the scale. Mafex is absolutely amazing. Marvel Legends will give you some amazing articulation. There's a lot of really great figures out there. Figma, SHF, Sentinel, and then there's Amazing Yamaguchi. And these things are sculpted absolutely beautifully. Look at this thing. Look from the back here. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I love the way his back is arched backwards. And I achieved that by articulating these shoulder blade pieces. One forward and the other. And look at how dramatically that changes the opening in his back. And if we look from the front, it completely and totally brings his shoulders and arms forward and collapses the chest. And that is just one point of articulation. These unique butterfly shoulder blades that seem to kind of like slide back and forth. And it really just adds a lot of character there to the pose in the back when you bring those blades backward. Give you a look from the side. If I collapse it forward. Then I bring it back again. I really like that look. Another thing that struck me right out of the package is that he's seems to be a kind of like a tall figure. I thought maybe since he was the Black Panther, they might've made him a little bit shorter. But since that struck me right out of the package, let's do a quick comparison uh, for scale in the Amazing Yamaguchi series. On the smaller end, my Deadpool figure, and they're pretty comparable in height there. And I'll bring out a couple of figs that are on the taller end. My War Machine. And my Cable figure. And Cable is just a smidge taller than is 
War Machine, as you can tell there. So some nice scale there across the AY series. Let's look at his articulation. Then we'll do some action poses in play with his accessories. And we'll do another comparison here just for some fun. So starting out at the top, we saw the shoulder blades and how they work. Looking at the head itself, as you can see, there is a generous neck piece that also includes part of the trapezius muscles, the traps back here. And you see how that rotates generously and independently of the collarbone. Then you also have your rotation. It'll give you tilt, some outstanding tilt. And then if you include the neck piece, you know he's got some exorcist stuff going on. But beautiful movement up here at the head and neck. You've got these amazing shoulder blade pieces that give you all this movement. You've got shoulders. And the shoulders have a lot of interesting movement. I would say be patient because part of enjoying these figures, in my opinion, has to do with learning how to pose them and make use of all of the joints. And when you kind of like really coordinate joints in a unique way and execute the pose that you're looking for, it's really satisfying. I can say that, you know, so the exchange in aesthetic appearance for really dynamic joints, in my opinion, it pays off in, in the experience of collecting these figures. Uh, so that having been said, you will get great rotation in the shoulders that have all kind of interesting movement. And if we look here at the shoulder, you'll get an upward position close to the chest, and then you'll get a downward position close to the chest. We have swivel at the biceps. At the elbows, you have your double jointed range. Beautiful stuff. You do have swivel here at the forearm, and you've got a universal ball joint here. And we have an additional diaphragm cut in addition to the movement that you get out of these shoulder blades, you're gonna have your rotation and amazing tilt here at the diaphragm itself. You've got some exposure in the back and those are those little trade-offs so that you could get this forward pose. And that is a really satisfying pose to nail. Very Panther-esque. <laughs> And there I just kind of like flattened out the toe. So you just have some great contact there. There are some trade-offs, but again, that is a beautiful, beautiful pose. And that's kind of like just focusing in on what this diaphragm cut can give us in terms of dynamic posing. So we'll get him standing back up there. And we have an additional cut at the waist. And that cut will give you rotation, a little bit additional tilt. And if I accurate, activate the diaphragm cut, we get a little more to either side. Moving on down to the legs, we're gonna get a really remarkable split. You've got swivel. We've got amazing double jointed knees and amazing articulation in the feet. You're gonna get great range down, great range up. I mean, superb range up. And we have movement, yep, at the boot cut. You've got forward and back wobble. And you've got some twist, not full rotation. It doesn't feel like. Let's jump into action poses in play featuring the accessories he comes with. All right, and we've got kind of like a pouncing pose. He ran, he leapt over something, and now he is pouncing down. You know, look at how dynamically articulated this guy is. And if you want to see exposure on the back, we do have that gappage right there. But again, that's that small section in exchange for all of this. And if I were using his stand, right, it would be serving as my fingers here. And I could have him swooping into any scene from the other side. Look at all those angles and curves. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And also this pose here kind of highlights how with some patience you can articulate and hide those shoulder balls, right? So really nice, smooth transition between the shoulder and the rest of the 
neck there. Very, very nice. Let's try another pose with one of the other accessories. All right, and a nice little pose here with the two vibranium power effects on his fists. These are already attached to, to the fists. And we can see him here kind of like using the built up potential energy that he's absorbed and now blasting away and banging somebody. And I like how you've got that lat muscle pulled forward and the arms are extended. I'll give you the look from the back. Right, so here again, you're gonna see the compromise from the back, you've got the exposed shoulders because the back lat muscles are completely fanned out, giving him that additional extended reach in the front. So you've got that like slumped in and he's almost sitting on air here and he's supported by the weight of his legs. So beautiful sculpting that, com that complements the articulation you might wanna do to get some really cool action poses very very nice quick look at the spear accessory that comes with the black panther and he can double hand pose no problemo i like how he looks very regal there almost like he's at ceremony very dope very dope this is an outstanding figure let's wrap up today with one quick final themed comparison and for that i'm going to bring out some other black panthers that i have my favorite in my collection, my Mezco Black Panther featuring Chadwick Boseman, the one and only King T'Challa. And I absolutely love this figure. It's one of my favorites in my collection. And just looking at them side by side, you can see distinctly now the purple. It really does pop, despite the fact that you really have some black in there somewhere. I'm just really taken by that, that effect. Really well done. I'll also bring out my Marvel Legends What If Black Panther from their season two of What If. This is where Shuri, it's an episode where Shuri goes on vacation. And while she's gone, uh, Wakanda contracts a Puerto Rican Black Panther to fill in while she's away. And so that's coming up in season two of the Marvel What If cartoon, the Puerto Rican Black Panther. And this is one of my recent acquisitions from the Healthy series. <laughs> and I wanted to bring him out and give him some of that Black Panther love. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, this is the HasLab, or I'm sorry, the Hasbro Selfie Series portrait. And I went with the Black Panther body. I don't know if it looks a lot like me, but my family thinks it's not totally off so pretty cool that you can get a head portrait for a toy in the modern day of yourself and i think that's pretty chill uh but otherwise the buck itself is pretty straightforward and it is not pinless it does have the thinner plastic at the joints also by the way and i'm not sure if the head portrait fits on other figures i haven't tried yet but heck yeah we've got the puerto rican black panther over here and last but not least i'll bring in the marvel legends retro black panther one of my favorite figs of 2022 he is very straightforward very old school origin of black panther appearance very dope very dope closing thoughts on this guy articulation is top notch there's something about the way they put this together i love that purple that is just bouncing all over the place his proportions are really really dope and heck yeah as always, everybody, thank you so much for coming out to share the experience of collecting toys as an adult and, you know, for appreciating toy art and the engineers and the sculptors and the artists that do all the work so that we can kind of like sit and appreciate their art. Thank you for coming out to share that with me. And until next time, take care.